Okay, so today's your lucky day. We get to start taking a look at GD and T frames and datums. GD and T stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. It's an entire chapter in the Intro to Mechanical Drafting class. It's chapter 12. We'll be going over it after we get done with dimensioning here in chapter 10. And so this is a little bit of our preview. And so right now, uh, what I want you to concern yourselves with is just how we make these symbols that you see over here on the left. You shouldn't understand what those symbols mean. That's the point of going through chapter 12. But today I'm going to show you how to make them in AutoCAD. And so right now we just want to recreate what's on a drawing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And then uh, this little figure here is figure 12-7 in your blue technical drawing book. So I just want you to take a couple minutes here, go ahead and sketch this in. You don't have to put the dimensions on there, but draw the object lines and the center lines. And I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of time to do that. You can either use the dimensions here or you can use the dimensions out of your book. And again, that was problem 12-7. Okay, you should have that done already. And so now we're going to take a look at how we go about creating these GDNT frames and these GDNT datums. So let me get rid of my dimensions here just so I have some room to put these. And we just don't need dimensions getting in the way to confuse things. And so the command I'm going to use to do this is called the quick leader. I, don't, I can't find it anywhere on the ribbon, but the way to get to it is just type in LE from your command line. So type in LE and hit enter. And it starts your leader command. Come down to settings and click on settings. Come in here and we're going to, out of annotation type, you'll select tolerance. And then under the leader line and arrow, just make sure that you've got your closed filled arrowhead turned on. And then go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll go ahead and create this first datum which is for profile of a surface. And so first thing is just go ahead and create your leader. So I'm gonna pick up the midpoint of this circular part, this curve on the top. I'm gonna to click another point and I'm gonna move straight over from there a distance of 0.25. On all of our leaders, when printed, we wanna have a distance of 0.25. So go ahead and type in 0.25 and hit enter. And then this brings up our geometric tolerancing box. And so if we click in this cell right underneath symbol, that's where we find our standard symbols. And so for this one, we're gonna click on this semicircle, and that's our profile of a surface. For this particular one, our tolerance is gonna to be 0 0.004, and that's in reference to datum A. So under uh, datum one, just type in A and hit OK. And that creates the first of our GD and T frames on here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and try this again. So just go ahead and type in LE again. That'll rerun that leader command. Settings should already be set, uh, but if we just go back in here and look, we still have a closed filled arrowhead. We still have our tolerance command. And so another one that we want to establish is a parallel tolerance. So again, to start my leader, I'm just gonna click on the midpoint there. I'm just gonna pull my leader down here some distance. I'm going to turn my ortho on by hitting F8 to make sure I'm drawing a horizontal line. And I want that horizontal landing to be 0.25. So type in 0.25, hit enter. Takes me back into the tolerances. For this one, I'm going to use this parallel symbol. My tolerance is going to be 0 0.001. And this is in reference to datum B. So type B in there and then hit OK. All right. So that's how to, do, how to create your frames. We also have datums that we need to create. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and type in LE again. And this one's gonna be a little bit different. We start our leader command, we click on settings, come over to leader lines and arrows. Under your arrowhead, we're gonna use a datum triangle filled arrowhead. So go ahead and click on datum triangle filled, hit okay. And then I'm gonna come down here. My datum A surface is gonna be this bottom horizontal line. So I just want somewhere along that line I want my arrowhead to start and then I want it to be a half an inch long so I'm going to type in 0.5 drag my cursor straight down hit enter 
And so that sets my first leader point. At this point, just go ahead and hit escape on your keyboard. Hitting escape will get you out of the leader command, but it will go ahead and leave your leader there. And now we need to go create our datum. Where we create our datum at is under annotate tab. So go to annotate, click on the dimensions drop down, and we've got this tolerance command. So go ahead and click on tolerance. It takes you to that same box where we were at before. This time at the bottom we have datum identifier. Type an A in there, hit OK. You'll just have to place your A and then go ahead and move him into his location using your object snaps. Midpoint to endpoint. And so you've got datum A there. Now we can establish datum B, which is going to be on this side. So again, we'll go ahead and type in LE for quick leader. We're going to attach this leader to the side. Again, move straight to the left, type in 0.5, hit enter. And then to get out of our leader command, go ahead and hit escape. That'll leave your leader there. Come back in here, annotate tab, come to dimensions, click on dimensions. Click on your tolerance box. And for datum identifier, this is going to be datum identifier B. Go ahead and hit OK. You'll have to place the box and then just move it into its location. Okay. All right, that should be all you need to know to be able to finish your assignment for GDNT for this class. Again, we're going to go over what these symbols mean in a lot more detail in the Intro to Mechanical Drafting class. But here, at least you have some exposure into how to create your datum, your GDNT frames, as well as your datum frames. So good luck on embarking in, of your world of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing.